hello and uh, welcome to this demo in this demo we would be looking at uh, using the logging feature that is provided by SQL Server integration services so uh, many times uh, when your package is deployed to the production environment you might be facing many issues right so um, if you do not have logging enabled um, it becomes very difficult for you to debug your package so we would be looking at some logging techniques there are a few provided by SQL Server integration services. Some of them are logging to an event viewer or logging to a XML file or say to a database or to a text file and so on and so forth. So let's just look at some of the logging techniques. Let me just fire up bids. Uh, I think I opened Visual Studio. Okay, so I'll create a new project and I'll call this as logging. Okay, so uh, let's create a very simple package for now. Just go to my toolbox. and I'll take um, execute SQL task and I'll right click on it and configure this I choose my connection so this is the one that points to my database that I created in my earlier demos and let me just give a SQL statement a very simple one create table say one we'll call this as column one and where cab not I'll just check if this query is right all right so we have a query in place so now what you're going to do is um, we are going to switch on the logging feature so I'll go to the SSIS menu and click on logging so here you will be listed with your packages plus your tasks so if you look at the provider type you have text files xml files you have sql server and so on and so forth so for the time being let's log to our text files I'll click on add and I need to also choose my task name where logging should be provided let me choose the text files and I'll have to configure the connection I'll create a file inside logging and call this as logs.txt fine so I need to configure this so if I go to details I'll see let me just log on error post execute on post validate on information on task failed on warning execute SQL executing query if I go to advanced I'll see some more options for now let's just leave it as it is and I'll run the package so this succeeded so let me just go to logging and I'll find my logs.txt and here all the logging information would be stored so you can extend the same to an XML file also let's try out something else let's just configure this to I'll remove this to log to a database add this one and I have to configure the connection point it to demo DB go to details and should be on error okay that's it since if I debug this package right now it's gonna fail because it's going to again execute that create table query but the table is already created since I ran the package once just now so this is going to fail so let's see 
if it gets logged in our SQL database just run this so it failed let us go to our SQL management studio and if I go to demo DB tables I'll be finding a sys SSIS log table that is created. I'll select the top thousand rows. So if you look here, you'll find your event, your computer name, you'll have your query, and so on and so forth. So depending upon the detail levels that you have checked while configuring your logging in your package accordingly you'll find the number of events getting generated over here right so there are of course other options like logging into an XML file or an event viewer and so on and so forth you would like to uh, explore these features and probably use them according to the needs and requirements of your package thank you